Hiya. Um, okay, we're going to do about the about the Anschluss now, which obviously is between um, Germany and Austria. <laughs> in, a, in a previous video, um, I mentioned how this was one of Hit this was probably Hitler's key aim because he himself was um, Austrian, and it was specifically forbidden to have an Anschluss under the Treaty of Versailles. That means Germany and Austria being together because of how much trouble it caused during World War One and how strong they were in the centre of Europe, so it was banned. Now Hitler had the aim of um, <coughs> uniting all German-speaking people in one country, so getting Austria would be a major coup. And as you know, he tried for this in 1934 with the, um, the murder of Engelbert Dollfuss, and Mussolini forced him to back down. Now, um, obviously a bit's going to change here, and the, the key change links to the end of the the Rhineland. Obviously, when the Rhineland began remilitarization happened, it also one of the things it led to was Mussolini and Hitler being driven together in this Rome-Berlin axis. Now, in 1936, the Spanish Civil War was going on in Spain, and Hitler and Mussolini had signed a treaty promising that they wouldn't interfere, and the treaty was uh, not worth the, the paper it was written on, and Hitler and Mussolini got involved in the Spanish Civil War and they supported General Franco and his nationalists. Now, what this did was it allowed Hitler and Mussolini to get um, field practice for their army, check them, um, test out new techniques, how they were going to fight, how, for example, um, airplanes would be used and tanks, and you know, they, they could change, they could, they could experiment. And it also served a purpose of um, distracting Mussolini, so it kept his eyes away from the Anschluss with Austria that Hitler was planning. And Along with this, you would see that um, Germany, Italy and Japan had also signed an anti common term pact, which again brought Germany and Italy close together. So what you've got is Hitler has got that friendship which I outlined in his aims. He needed the friendship of Italy to achieve his aims in Europe and he's achieved that. He's got it. Okay. Now, in 1938, Hitler will rear his head properly again. And this was with the Anschluss. And what he did was he ordered the Austrian Nazi Party, which he previously said he had nothing to do with, to begin a campaign in Austria for union with Germany. And you got the usual riots, demonstrations, etc. And the Chancellor at the time, uh, Schuschnigg, tried to arrange a plebiscite, a vote, regarding what the people of Austria wanted to do. Um, did they want to be with Germany or not? And Hitler didn't want this to happen at this point. So he put his German soldiers on the Austrian border to use basically intimidation to stop this happening. And it leads to uh, Schuschnigg stepping down. And in his place, there's a guy called Seitz Inquart, who's a, is a, you know, like a head Nazi. Um, and he'd been forced, really, had his, Schuschnigg had, had his hand forced to put the Inquart in, in charge of the uh, Austrian police. And he came in and he, he invited the Nazis in. So there's been no Nazi invasion. But he invites the Nazis in under the guise of we'll restore order. And one of the first things the Nazis did was jail 80,000 of Hitler's opponents. So 80,000 uh, anti Nazis were put in jail. Hitler then entered in triumph. Um, if you were in my GCSE class, we watched um, video footage of this where the, um, the Nazis entered Austria and it was almost like a, a parade. The Austrian people were delighted to see them on the whole. And we saw an interview from a former Hitler youth member, I know that's not necessarily reliable, and she was saying about how Hitler was a good man and he gave a great speech and everyone was delighted to see him. Um, but you have to bear in mind that Austria had been suffering since the end of World War One. They'd been suffering from the Depression and Germany was seen as coming out of the Depression, it was seen as having a strong charismatic leader and basically the Austrians were quite happy to unite under Hitler. Um, according to the plebiscite which was then held by Hitler, 99.75% of Austrians wanted Anschluss. Now, you know, 80,000 are in jail, the Nazis would have control over this, so you, we can't fully trust these results, but it, it, it was popular. The Anschluss was popular between um, Hitler and um, Austria. Okay, so he, he took his home country. Now, he hasn't. He hasn't used um, any invasion at all. 
it's, it's, a, it's an invitation. So he's won again via politics. Mussolini kept his nose out. He honoured the Rome-Berlin axis. He didn't want to upset his new friend Hitler. Britain and France still don't want to be involved in a war. So this form of, um, this, this past form of um, not wanting a war, hence the League of Nations falling apart, nothing happening in the Rhineland, continues. Um, but what you've also got is, is that the, the British actually quite like the idea of an Anschluss because we were very, very worried by communism and Russia or the USSR. We were, we were worried about this in Europe and we figured that the <coughs> a strong Germany, which would include Austria now, was a, an effective buffer against the spread of communism and Hitler, with his anti turn pact, with his speeches, etc., was seen as anti-communist. So communism was seen as the true enemy and Britain was quite happy to have a strong buffer zone of Germany and Austria in the middle of Europe stopping communism spreading across from the east. Um, and basically the Austrians are happy and they're quite happy for the idea of joining Hitler's Reich and they've got the charismatic leader, they've attached their uh, cart onto the winning horse and really all eyes are now going to look towards the Sudetenland and Czechoslovakia and it should be borne in mind that with the Anschluss with Austria, three sides um, around the Sudetenland were now owned by the Nazis. So you actually could see that the Sudetenland would be next, even though Hitler is going to say he's not going to target Czechoslovakia. Because of Austria, because of Anschluss, they were primed for the Sudetenland. Thank you.